Adrian, what just happened? Uh, Max, yes, Kyrie Irving and his representative, his agent, should tell you, uh, Irving told the Nets that they want to trade. They want to trade ahead of next Thursday. I'm told that they did not request specific teams to be traded to. And I think uh, part of this, you saw some comments last week from Irving's agent about wanting a contract extension, a commitment on a new deal. Obviously, he can be a free agent next summer. And I'm told that there were some you know, conversation about that, but there was not, uh, obviously not uh, an agreement reached on a new deal. And I think what Kyrie Irving is telling Brooklyn is, you know, if he's not traded by the deadline, then he walks for nothing next summer. And so I think Brooklyn will, you know, I think they're just starting to process the trade request and, you know, start to figure out how they proceed. You know, they've got, again, Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, you know, certainly there'll be interest in Kyrie Irving. How much, you know, certainly teams, if you're going to trade for him, do you know you can resign him? Do you want to commit what he wants in free agency, which is, Certainly a full four-year max deal. You know, those are all questions that still be answered. But, you know, here's Brooklyn hoping to get Kevin Durant back, perhaps even before the All-Star break, but but at the latest right after the All-Star break and thinking they have a opportunity, a window to make a run with this group. And now Kyrie Irving has asked the Brooklyn Nets to be traded ahead of Thursday's trade deadline. Woj, as my father used to say, if you hear hoofbeats in North America, don't rule out zebras, but think horses first, right? Like, sure, this could be any number of things, but as you mentioned, Kyrie suddenly was the model citizen, right, and, and played the best basketball I've ever seen him play because not only was it, oh, my God, did you see that, but it was leading to wins, at least at first, without KD there. And then there, you hear reports that he's looking for a contract extension, and this happens a lot of times in sports and business. You know, everyone's on their best behavior and doing their best work when it comes time to talk money. Is it, is it fair to say or speculate, do you think, that that is in fact what happened here? That once the Nets were like, ah, we, how can we trust you based on the kind of up and down and availability and inavailability of recent years? How can we trust you to make that kind of commitment? Then he said, okay, I want out of here. And if that is the case, what is his trade value? Well, I think th th that's right, Max. And it's not a quite, I think it's, it's a negotiation and it's how much of a commitment, how much, how many guaranteed years, how much guaranteed money, uh, you know, in a new deal. And certainly you saw it with Brooklyn last summer. Uh, they were hesitant about how far they would go with Irving on a new deal. And uh, I think that's the case now. Again, I think if this is a Brooklyn team where Kyrie Irving continues to play well, um, continues to be available, continues to be relatively controversy-free, that there's the runway to get a deal done in the offseason, especially if Kevin Durant likes the direction of what's happening with the team and, and his commitment remains solid in Brooklyn. But it appears for Kyrie Irving, I think they uh, he has wanted more certainty on his future and to get traded by the trade deadline allows you then to keep your bird rights and extend with a team that might trade for you. Certainly the Lakers are a team that had interest in Kyrie Irving last summer. It's certainly a team um, that wants to continue to upgrade and uh, around LeBron James, Anthony Davis. And so certainly I would expect that's going to be uh, part of the conversation here between here and uh, the end of the trade deadline Listen, Kyrie Irving's not for every team in the league. It's not going to be 29 teams making inquiries about him, but there will be interest. And again, I think there will probably be a sense with teams of what kind of long-term commitment is he looking for? How much would we have to give up to get him even as a rental for the rest of this year? And certainly those are all questions now the Nets are going to be grappling with uh, between now and Thursday at 3 o'clock. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.